I'd love to introduce Fatima Raiz. Um, she is the Director of Customer Experience and Marketing at the well-known Emirates Driving uh, Institute for anyone who lives in Dubai. We all know this because we've all got our licenses from here. Uh, it is one of, it's not one of, it is the largest and most successful driving school in the Middle East. And uh, they do have uh, operations in other countries as well. So um, we know for a fact that Fatima has been extremely instrumental in driving this uh, success with their customer experience and in the growth of EDI altogether. So without further ado, Fatima, please go ahead. Thank you, Sindhu. And hi, everyone. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Fatima Reis, and I've been with the Emirates Driving Institute for the last 15 years. I started with their marketing department, and I started heading their customer experience department uh, uh, in 2016. Uh, it was, there was a structural change in the organization, and because of which uh, I was asked to look after this department. But uh, as I started working and looking after this department, I realized how interlinked marketing and customer experiences, and uh, it actually helped me in managing both the departments very well because marketing is all about customer experience and especially in our industry okay so what what happens in uh, edi i'll just share with you my screen a little bit about edi first okay so uh with we're the largest and the most successful driving institute in the middle east uh, we have been in business uh, since the last 29 years. Uh, we started, uh, we established in the year 1991. And since then we are providing uh, driver license acquisition programs in different vehicle categories, be it car, trucks, bus, motorcycle, forklift, shovels. Uh, more than half a million students have graduated from us till date. And uh, we operate in almost all the Emirates. We are there in Fajera, we are in Sharjah, we are in Najman. Uh, last year, we opened a driving school in the KSA uh, when, the, when the rule was passed that women can actually drive in KSA. So we started an establishment there. So that's about EDI. And uh, our core values, in line with our core values, uh, one of our core values is customer centricity. 80% uh, of our customers, who register with us when we ask them why did you choose EDI they tell us they were referred by family and friends so that's a very important uh, measure for us for us customer experience matters the most because that helps us to drive business and growth and success so we ensure at every step of their journey uh, they we understand their needs better we learn from them and we try to improve as much as possible apart from imparting good quality training uh, to the customers, because getting license is not our ideal goal. You know, you know, customers register with us because they want to get a driving license. But we want to ensure that people getting driving license from us are not only good drivers, but they're safe drivers. So they're not just skillful, but they are very safe. So that tomorrow when they learn driving, uh, when they get driving license from us, they do not go out and have an accident because, uh, our regulator, RTA, they actually, uh, one of our KPI is the black points that our, our learner drivers uh, get. And we are being measured for the quality of, uh, the quality of driving skills that they actually, that they actually, that they actually use. So we, we always make sure that people who are learning from us are good and safe drivers. So coming back to customer centricity, um, our, we actually came from a very infancy stage when it came when it comes to capturing and uh, capturing feedback. We used to actually use printed questionnaire forms, and we were really delighted to have partnered with Question Pro because the earlier process was a very time-consuming, very costly, and a very non-confidential uh, process. Why I will say non-confidential because customer were hesitant to share their honest and open feedback with us because they felt that by sharing their feedback with us, it will hamper their 
probably their learning journey with us, their passing result. So it was a very challenging situation for us to uh, request customer or to increase the feedback rate because at the end of the day, our aim is to get as many feedback as possible so that we can repair, learn, and improve. And Quest Pro actually allowed us to do that. Uh, it helped us in creating surveys really quickly. We were able to schedule it multiple times throughout the customer's journey. Uh, earlier, we used to only ask the customer to give their feedback once when they passed out from us. So now we were able to ask them for their feedback at different points in their journey, at different milestones. So this was very easy because this helped us in tracking and uh, intervening if there is a problem and repairing the experience. Uh, it helped us in better engagement and uh, to take the, the action at the right time. And the insightful reports and the real-time data that we could get using this tool was uh, very helpful, especially in decision-making and taking the right CX initiatives. Like I mentioned before, uh, the printed questionnaire forms were actually handed to staff who used to feed it in the system. So customers were not very, very uh, confident in sharing their honest opinion. So what they used to do is uh, they used to just take everything good, good, good. And they used to just, because they know that, uh, you know, someone is going to read it. So by cutting out this middleman, not only we improved on the efficiency, but we also were able to gather invaluable feedback, honest and invaluable feedback that then helped us to learn and improve better. Open to listening, of it's really the, the tool created an opportunity for us to connect and listen to the customers across various touch points and uh, when they reach different milestones in their journey. So what happens is customer, when they register with us, it's not like a one-off transaction that gets over. You know, it's like when you go to a restaurant, you eat your food and your journey with the restaurant is over. But with us, when they register, from the time they register till they get their driving license, they are spending close to a month or two sometimes with us. So, and they interact with various touch points, like starting with the registration uh, desk, you know, where they get registered and we open their RTA file to then the lecture session, which they get either they do the e-learning session or they do a live lectures and then they go on and get trained by their trainer. So they have their relationship building and their experience with the trainer. Then they get assessed, internal assessment by EDI, and then an external road test by the RTA. Uh, they use various services, be the bus service, our facilities. So they interact with various touch points at different milestones in their journey. So from registration experience to assessment, to test, to training. With this tool, we are now able to gauge and measure their experience with us and their satisfaction score uh, across the journey. So we, we conduct uh, three or four surveys with the same customer. So one is a re post-registration survey, which just talks about, it's a very simple survey. So we have divided the survey and made it as effortless as possible for the customer so that we increase the response rate. So we ask them questions just related to the registration experience, you know, the wait time, the friendliness of the registration staff, the process, uh, followed by a post-assessment survey which is in the mid of their journey with us. So they have taken some training with us and now they have gone on and taken a test. So we intervene in the mid of their journey and we ask them, are they happy with their training? Are they happy with the test? So that in case there is any issue, we can then go and repair this issue and gain back our customer because every customer for us is a mini marketer. So, a person after they get a driving license from us, they cannot get a driving license again, but they refer a lot of customers to us. So we want to make sure that the experience that they have got from us was of top quality and uh, they will bring business back to us because that is how we grow and we sustain. And finally, we have another survey, which is upon passing. Uh, we used to only have the upon passing survey earlier on. And what we learned was that 
generally when you pass out you're really happy and you are ready to forget and forgive everything down the line so what used to happen is people used to give us all excellent rating because they just didn't want to complain they've got their license and they just don't want to share their feedback unless they had a really bad experience so we we realized that when you ask them to give their feedback in the middle of their journey they were more uh open and they were more um it was very timely they were they they would like to share it with us if they had any negative because they they believe that we were there to fix it for them uh so i guess having different types of survey with the same client is very helpful in understanding what exactly what kind of experience we are actually delivering to the customer so this is where the cx recovery comes in so what we have done with the tool is that uh, we have set up notification so every time a customer rates us negative i mean a poor or average we not only ask them the reason for it okay why did you rate us poor i mean tick the choose the correct reason for it but what we do is we actually call them and how wonderful it is that an hour back you have rated something poor and you get a call an apology call uh which is very timely and um, and we have dedicated a staff who does this and the job of the person is to apologize and ask them what exactly was it that went wrong because people are not able to see for a reporting metric it's good to have all the reasons classified and what's working and what's not working but when you call the customer it's like going that extra mile and we don't do it for everyone we only do it for the ones who have rated us poor and we were we are able to repair that emotional experience by this quick intervention and a timely resolution so it's very helpful uh and it also helps us in uh, preventing it from happening to the other customers so based on the root cause identification um we were able to make lots of improvement in our processes uh, in our systems in our communication the knowledge of the staff so we conducted a lot of training for our staff based on the feedback that we got from the customers and we were able to win back some of the potential customers and the referrers our future uh, referrers so this cx recovery was possible thanks to questpro and uh, we are using it uh, uh, as much as possible because uh, we tried to we tried to fix it then and there and we are ensuring that all the customers who then leave ETI are all happy customers uh building customer loyalty so what we do is um we really appreciate our customers for giving us their feedback for sharing their feedback with us taking out the time to fill the survey and what we do is we reward them for this so as soon as you know we send them a um, so what happens is once you give your feedback to us we enroll you in a quarterly draw wherein you have the opportunity to win a driving course for yourself and you can register for other categories like if you are a, you have already got a car license or you are already enrolled for a car license you could enroll for a motorbike license or a desert course so it's it's a, it's a free driving course for yourself for your family and friends it's a transferable voucher so we conduct this draw every three every quarter and uh, this has actually helped us in increasing the response rate it's uh, it's uh, very beneficial and uh we really want to give back a little bit to our customers because happy customers bring new customers and we want all of them to be happy <laughs> uh, we also have got a referral incentive scheme in place wherein we reward our loyal customers with cash incentive so if they are happy with us they refer a person see if they are happy with us they always refer a customer to us okay it goes without saying but i want to say a thank you to i want to thank them for this effort uh because if there is an incentive for referring they even if they even if they're happy they might not refer but when they have an incentive they are obliged to refer because there's there's great reward in that uh so it's our way of uh, thanking them for their effort uh creating brand ambassadors so the tool uh because of its feature you know uh customers are now able to share their feedback in a video format 
So what we do is uh, in the tool itself, in the survey itself, we have uh, asked for their permission uh, that uh, please share this feedback. So if they're very happy with us and they've given us a five-star rating, we ask them to share a video or an audio file about their experience. And we have taken their permission to actually share it via our social media channels. And uh, because of this, we were able to create a community of our brand ambassadors. So we have now got a lot of customers who feel very happy and they send us their video clips. And then we, from the marketing department, we, uh, we post it on the social media channels and we thank them and we hashtag them. So it's, it's great because Again, it helps us in better engagement on social media channels. Uh, we got better reviews. Uh, it helps us to grow uh, uh, via the online platforms. And I think today, all customers who are, uh, uh, they like to share their experience. Everyone wants to share their experience. And they give uh, importance to companies or brands that value their opinion. And uh, they they share it and uh, everyone wants to benefit from their experience and this kind of sharing has uh, enabled us to uh, gain uh, more inquiries online. Uh, outcomes, um, the increase in the response rate, okay, thanks to the, the effortless surveys and the quick and easy surveys that uh, using Quest Pro that we, uh, that we sent to our customers, we were able to improve the response rate 100% compared to the previous years when we didn't have this tool. Uh, I think what works more for us, I mean, I was listening to the presentations of the others where email works the most for us, actually SMS works the most. Uh, we send them the, question, the, the link via SMS uh, and the customers whenever they are free uh, they use the link and they give us their feedback. Uh, it helped us in a lot of cost and uh, time saving. Uh, it improved uh, the engagement that we had with our customer. It helped us having better satisfaction scores. So we monitor our satisfaction set score quarterly and monthly uh, and across various touch points. So we were able to segregate the CSAT score, let's say, training department wise, facility department wise, uh, customer, uh, customer service delivery channels. So we ask questions related to every department and then we are able to share this information with the respective departments so that they can then see what is working and what is not working and they are able to fix and improve. And there were many initiatives that were uh, taken thanks to the feedback. I mean, we. We really believe that uh, the feedback is the key to our success because the customer spends so much time with us a month, sometime two. Uh, we have to learn from them because to be able to uh, deliver consistently across all the touch points, it's very important that at every every week, every month, we listen to our customer to ensure that this consistent service delivery is actually happening. So this tool has really helped us in uh, getting this, uh, this uh, objective uh, achieved. And uh, last but not least, uh, employee empowerment. So what we have done is every time a customer gives a positive feedback or an appreciation for the staff or the trainer, we have linked this to the reward and recognition scheme that we have got in place. So the employee with the highest uh, written uh, appreciations from customers, they are awarded and recognized every month. Uh, so this has actually helped in increasing the employee motivation and the performance. And uh, it works so well for us. Uh, and also the, crit the negative feedback that we get from customer, we use it as a very constructive criticism to train and improve the service delivery across all channels. So the feedbacks are empowering everyone, to be honest, each department, each department head, even the employees, they all look forward to receiving great feedback and that they know that a feedback from a customer means a lot to them because we then share it across uh, 
call our manager. So we send a mail to all our managers and section heads that employees so and so have received this feedback. So it's it's a great recognition scheme, and uh, we are able to improve uh, daily thanks to this kind of uh, this kind of uh, feedback system. And uh, I guess there's a saying that in uh, pursuit of quality and excellence, there is no finish line. So I think it's a learning experience for us. Every day we learn and we learn the most from our customers. And we thank them uh, for, this, um, for this feedback. And we thank Quest Pro for providing us uh, such, a, such an excellent tool that is so easy to, uh, easy to execute and um, learn from. The reporting system is, the dashboard is very good. We are uh, very uh, fascinated. We get such insightful reports and very real-time reports. That's that's a key because earlier on we used to be, we used to call the customer after a month asking him what went wrong, and he or she won't even remember it. But now they feel they feel great when we call them and we say you just gave us a poor rating. What went wrong? We're so sorry. What can we do to improve? And this is what works for us. You know, we are able to turn. Uh, repair each and every uh, negative emotional experience and uh, we are able to change that and uh, make them our brand ambassadors. So that's really helping the business. So that's it from me. Um, uh, if anyone has any questions related to our industry or to the way we capture or we conduct the survey, feel free. free. Uh, hi, Fatima. Uh, I, I just uh, uh, got the insight on, you know, how you're running this survey within your organization. So I'm more uh, excited about how you implement this uh, reward system. So uh, could you please tell us, I mean, I know you may not be able to reveal everything, but uh, how do you actually uh, implement this and then how the response from the uh, people with the reward system that you put? Okay, so what we do is uh, one of the reward section is the the highest number of uh, appreciations we got per employee. So in a month, we see which employee has got, first of all, the, the appreciation has to be a written appreciation. And it has to be, of a, uh, we, we look at the quantity versus quality as well. So somebody might have got excellent, excellent, excellent three times, but there's another appreciation which is of, a subs of great substance. So we give value to the type of appreciation and the quantity of appreciation. So each employee knows that they have to fulfill these two criteria to be recognized as the highly appreciated employee of the month and highly appreciated employee by the customer. So we look at the quantity, number of uh, number of appreciations or the excellent appreciations and the quality. And we factor in these two and we, we, we take out the, the highly appreciated employee of the month and we reward them. It's a cash reward. We give 500 dirhams. It's not a big thing. But the certificate of appreciation uh, is what matters the most. Excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, hi, Fatma. I would like to... Uh, First question is this, um, are you taking the feedback when people get failed or not? So if you, please let me know first this, yes or no. Hi, Usman. Yes, so there is a survey called post-assessment test survey. So as soon as you give your first assessment test, whether you failed or passed that test, the survey is triggered. And the survey is triggered at that time because a lot, I think 80% of our customers, they fail in their first assessment test. Reason being, an assessment test is a mock of a road test. So we want to make sure that you are capable of passing a road test before we pass you in an assessment test. So that's a very difficult test, to be very honest. So we conduct the survey in the mid journey of the customer and we get a lot of uh, great feedback because when you fail, you want to talk about each and everything that has happened to you. Yeah. So that's a very constructive uh, survey for us. Uh, we were able to make a lot of uh, a lot of improvements based on the survey result. Okay, and uh, thank you very much, Fatma. The second question is about um, I'm I'm sure that you have done the correlation that, for example, a person who is giving you the feedback he has passed in the first try, and the and the customer who has passed in on fifth try. So what what is actually you know that you think that this 
much difference in their feedbacks or what? You just want to learn their behavior. That's what my question is. The person who has passed like on the first exam, feedback, and the person who has passed on the seventh feedback, it's a huge variation or it's same? Okay, so the passing, uh, the pass, the upon passing survey, we don't see a huge variation because what happens is as soon as you pass, your experience has become all, you have become all happy. Yeah. So we don't see a huge variation, but we do factor in the point that if you have mm. failed, let's say this is your fifth attempt upon passing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whereas somebody who has passed out in their first attempt, we, we do see uh, a difference in the response rate. So if somebody gives you excellent, excellent, we see the ones who have failed, let's say, after, so we, we do it excellent, good, average and poor. So we always see they don't go for excellent, they go for good. And we are able to look at the customer history as well. So we are able to find out, so, so there are two things that we look at, the number of pass attempts and number of classes taken. Okay. Uh, customers who have taken a lot of training also tend to give us a lot of good, uh, good rating rather than excellent rating. Whereas, uh, because they, they had spent a lot of time with us. So the, we, we try to, we, we do not want to pinpoint any department because uh, we try to factor in these points that if somebody has learning difficulty or they require more training, what is it that we can do to improve? So even our assessment department, they get a lot of negative feedback. Sometimes the assessors are strict. The assessors were uh, not fair. But we factor in the point that they are supposed to be strict a little bit. They have to... Uh, they have to, I mean, they have to be friendly and motivational, but in their testing criteria, they have to replicate the RTA exam as much as possible. So we factor in these points as well, where, especially wherein there is an uh, intervention by RTA. Uh, like, for example, feedback that we get from the, for the RTA examiner, there's nothing much we can do about it. But what we try to do is we try to pass this feedback to the RTA as well, um, so that they, when they have their quarterly meetings with all the examiners, they can look at the results and see what can be done to improve the experience. Okay, great. One last question. Sorry, Fatma. One last question. Um, you really had a big challenge to implement all of the stuff on the CX. I mean, like, uh, getting the feedback is the one thing. Getting done, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a big thing, right? From, from a, now you are on the right track, very right track. So what, what, what are your biggest challenges right now I mean, that you're facing? I think the biggest challenge, uh, one is, uh, uh, yes, I think uh, what's happening is, uh, like you just mentioned, the correlation, you know, like how do you factor in, um, like to what extent this, the deviation part as, like everyone has a different journey, okay, right. and uh, everyone has a different learning capacity. I mean, you learn, some learn quickly, some take time. So everyone's journey is different from the other. And we have close to 200 nationalities that take training with us. Yeah. And so they all come from different cultures, different background, different language, uh, you know, speak different languages. But to, but to understand and to analyze the data from all across all this channel in a summarized manner is very challenging because uh, we have seen that there is a there is a difference in the CSAT score if you look at it nationality wise, language wise. Mm -hmm gender wise so i think it's very important for every organization to not just look at the data as it is go go back and see who the data where the data is coming from so it could be that probably females are having a problem with one section or maybe males have issues with other sections so i think this is a very challenging part for us is the time this takes to because we have to do a, something, a bit of a manual work as well. Because we are right now integrating the Question Pro with our ERP system. It's still in progress. So once this happens, I think it will be a very uh, effective tool to measure exactly what's happening with which persona. I wish you best of luck. I'm very happy to know about it. And Question Pro is on board with you. Thank I'm you. I'm really looking forward to have a, you know, changes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Osman. I think uh, Anna has a question. Uh, Anna, are you able to unmute?
can I ask Dan Sindhu until Miss Hana can? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Hi, Miss Fatma. Thank you so much for sharing with us your uh, story of success with Question Pro. Uh, my question to you is that if you got uh, an offer for another brand, would you uh, open the 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 chance to uh, have a look to the new brand, or you will stick using only Question Pro? If yes, why? <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, we don't mind. See, I think. Uh, we don't mind exploring because when you explore you learn a lot okay um, so we are all open to explore and learn about the new features that new brand has to offer uh, but uh, we are we will as of now we will be more inclined to stay with quest pro because uh, the service the um, the response rate uh, the flexibility so it's not just about the tool it's also about the experience that and also the relationship that you have with the brand So we got a great tool, but uh, Question Pro team is very responsive and uh, they're very flexible at understanding our needs <laughs> and helping us learn. Because Question Pro was new to us, you know, we were at a very infancy stage. You know, we were using printed forms. So for us to learn, uh, they were very patient with us, uh, with my team. They they taught them how to use the tool, how to leverage the tool, how to maximize. uh all the features that is available so i think uh, unless i get that kind of responsiveness or that kind of uh, flexible and open relationship it will be difficult to and it's not easy it's time consuming and it takes time and effort to build that, that kind true. of relationship so yeah we are open to explore but uh, making the choice will you will be not change <laughs> <laughs> so you did not face any challenges with the question pro during yeah, everyone uh, faces challenges mm-hmm. and uh, we all face challenges but there's there's always a resolution they always come up with the resolution and they fix our issues so we can say and, that question pro team they uh, successfully build a good relationship with uh, your organization that's the, that's the very reason why <laughs> i am doing this presentation <laughs> Maybe if you have from the other brand, we can say other features that Question Pro they don't have. What do you think? How the decision will be? Yeah, we 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 will analyze it and we will look into it. We'll probably do a pilot run to see how how different this tool is to the to that tool. So we would always welcome the organization to do a pilot run, a pilot test for us using a, a sample data. and we'll mm-hmm. see the result we'll see the report we'll see the the ease and uh, effectiveness of the tool and then decide uh one more question and sorry if it's a little bit long <laughs> but uh, really i want to ask during this pandemic uh, time do you think that people still are motivated to give the feedback and uh, touch or do you face any you, you will be surprised <laughs> uh you will be surprised people are hungry to share and they oh, want to be great. listened So you know we used to get believe it or not we used to get 50 or 100 responses earlier on today we get 350 responses so it has literally oh. doubled and in That's our great. especially in our industry i think they want to be listened to because what happens is they they are confused because there is a lot of a lot of things that's happening around them they are meeting a lot of people you know so they they really appreciate it when we go and we ask them are you happy here are you happy with the bus service are you happy with our trainers so they feel um, they feel you make them feel important and i think like one of the saying goes that people forget what went wrong and what went right but they never forget what how you made them feel so this is what we are trying to achieve thank you so much